Hey guys, Stefan here, the Photobook Guru, and this week I'm reviewing sample prints for you. So Simple Print is another one of those uh, app photo books where it's really easy to make, you have very limited options but the purpose was to create something that's uh, up to date with technology and it doesn't take a week to create so you can do something really quickly from your phone so the pictures that you do on your holidays or with your friends don't get lost. Sample Prints is uh, an American company located in California but they ship worldwide so wherever you are you can get their books and um, they also do wall art, uh, calendars, cards, mugs, pillows and the usual uh, gift items but photo books is what they are most known for. You can create a book from any Apple or Android based um, smartphone or smart um, device, an iPad, phone or whatever you want to use. Um, it's really, really easy. I'm going to take you through that in a few seconds and show you the up close images, but just a few more words about the book. Uh, I created this book, it's an 8x8 eight eight inch book of my recent trip to Transylvania, and, um, and that's how it opens up. It's some creepy pictures uh, with Dracula and stuff, and this is just a short trip with my family and uh, it was very very easy to create from the phone and I was very happy when I got the book because it's so uh, sturdy and the print quality was surprisingly good and very very true to the original pictures so this is among the few books which were digitally printed where I didn't pick up on any problems with the colors and I think this is really worth mentioning given the simplicity of the book you obviously are not going to get the same options that you would get with a desktop editor where you have loads of papers to choose from and loads of cover types and blah 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 this is for those who want something really quick really simple as the name suggests and uh, something that you can get very quickly from, from your images. So anyway, let's just go into the upload shots and I can tell you more about cover binding, paper quality and the software. All right, so let's start with the cover. Uh, that's how the book looks and the cover options depend on the size. The book comes in two sizes, eight by eight inches and 12 by 12 inches. This one is the eight by eight inches and you can choose from soft cover and hard cover. But if you go for 12 by 12, then the only option you've got is a hardcover. So the hardcover book looks like this. You have a picture and text on the front. You can have your usual text uh, on the spine. And on the back, you have uh, the simple print logo, uh, the app things, and also a barcode. And I don't think you can get rid of this because when I try to edit the last page, it said that this page is not editable. So this is going to be on the back, whatever you do. If you go for the soft cover, then you can't have a spine text, but you can have the same kind of design on the front. You've got a fair selection of uh, fonts to choose from, uh, but for the back, this is what you have to have. Okay, so let's go on to the binding. When you open the book, the main book is connected to the cover by this great feeling. Uh, it looks like, it's very similar to tissue paper, but it's not tissue paper, but I don't know if you can see the texture of it and it's uh, quite thick and looks really really nice in the book and it's white and you can't choose the color of it and it's the same on the back as well so you've got the same please focus yeah so you can see the texture there uh, so that's that's the double sheet that connects the book to the cover and if you go for the hardcover you're gonna get this amazing little uh, bookmark which I've never seen in any photo book before, especially in the cheaper ones, but I think it's really funky and it looks really nice, so you can put it anywhere inside the book. The book is obviously perfect bound uh, and not lay flat. There is no lay flat option, so things are going to get lost in the gutter just a little bit in the, in the middle as usual. So let me just start paging through. It's just the usual perfect bound book, so there's nothing really special about it, but it's really nicely done. Um, it doesn't feel cheap and it certainly doesn't feel uh, low quality, so you're going to be very happy with the binding itself. So let's talk a little bit about the paper. You have two options. You can either choose the standard 100 LBS, which works out as 148 GSM grams per square meter paper, which is silk, 
or you can choose uh, you can upgrade in the end in the app for uh, premium paper which is 140 lbs which works out as 207 gsm so it's slightly thicker and apparently it has less gloss less sheen to it now i've got the upgraded paper in this one so it's going to be the 207 gsm upgraded paper and that's the sheen that you get i wouldn't call it glossy and i wouldn't call it luster it looks like your average um, silk paper but probably a little bit less um, shiny it's just a very very subtle sheen and let me try to give you a close-up of the texture so that's that's how it looks i hope you can see it so it, it feels very very smooth and uh, it's obviously acid free and coated the book has to have a minimum of 20 pages before you can print it out or send it to print and the maximum page count is a little bit confusing because on the website they state that it's up to 200 pages but in the app when you load up the frequently asked questions it says that you can go up to 300 so definitely 200 pages but you might be able to get 300 i haven't tried so i don't know and before the software let me talk a little bit about the printing as well on the website and in the app they state that they're using indigo digital printers and as you know by now if you follow me the indigo printers are one of the best in the digital world they are very uh, accurate in tone color and shades as well and they give a very high quality very high dpi resolution to your prints so when i was looking through this book i was actually really surprised that nothing got really uh, noticeably changed the saturation stayed very very true to what i provided in the images and also the shadows and highlights look really really fantastic i think the colors are almost completely neutral uh, there's nothing no major difference that i could notice so i'm very very happy with the actual print quality and as you can see it's really sharp and high quality let me give you a close-up of an image which i took with the camera so here's a close-up of um, of the quality hope i can zoom in okay so that's the kind of clarity that you get it's really really great uh, that's all i can say about it well done and now very quickly i'm going to show you on the phone what you can do in the app so when you start your app you have to go to create a new book and then you have options of where you can get the pictures from. You can get them either from your camera roll, Facebook, Instagram and Dropbox. Then this is how it loads up, okay? You can see all the pages and then just need to uh, you need to select at least 20 images, of course, because the book is a minimum of 20 pages. And, um, and then you click on the cover, which is this one and you can have an option to create a different layout or to edit the text on the cover and when you go to edit the text then these are the kind of fonts that you can choose from and you've only got two color options black and white here now if you go onto one of the pages uh, you can add captions and you can go to edit page and then here are the layouts that you can choose from so quite a big variety some of them have some text in the bottom and you can also get full bleed uh, layouts just like you've seen here on that page okay and you go on and this is where you select the, the size of the book so you can have 8 by 8 inch soft cover uh, 8 by 8 inch hardcover and 12 by 12 inch hardcover and when you choose the book size then it's going to give you an upgrade option for the paper which says 140 professional grade premium luster acid free I don't think it's luster I think it's more silky and then your shipping options come in um, in the states they claim 47 days I'm obviously out of the states so it was up to two weeks but it was I think around one week for shipping time and that's it basically and then you can just start um, press uh, place order and wait for your book to come so just a final few details 
I haven't seen any deals on at the moment on the website or within the app but they sometimes send out emails to their existing customers or if you sign up to the newsletter so you can uh, always look out for those. If I do get access to any discount codes they are obviously going to be under the deals section on my blog thephotobookguru.com. Let's start with the things that I loved about this book. I loved the quality of the printing and I loved the accuracy of the colours. I can't stress this enough, with cheaper books and um, digitally pressed books you often have problems with saturation and uh, colour accuracy and things like that. With this one uh, I didn't have any such problems. You can obviously see the digital texture but not anymore with any other book. But you're going to get really great colours and really high resolution uh, digital printing in it. I also love the fact that the book opens up with this lovely little uh, double page spread. Uh, textured paper. I think it's a really nice touch to get it with the, with the bookmark which I haven't seen in any book before. I love how easy it is and still uh, you can choose from different layouts, you can add different fonts and text, you can have full bleed page uh, photos so within that small app you still have so many options and it's not going to be a boring book. I love uh, the maximum page count which is 200 pages according to the website and 300 pages according to the app. I still have to try that out but whichever it is it's a really high page count so you can create quite a thick book. And now just a few things that um, I didn't like so much about the book. The main thing is that there's no way to get rid of the logo and the barcode. Some people don't like that especially if you give it to someone as a present so that would be nice if you if you could get an upgrade like I don't know pay uh, four or five dollars and get rid of the logo and the barcode that would be nice and the other thing that I could mention is that you have this paper upgrade um, which is supposed to be premium and luster I don't think the paper itself is a luster I have the upgraded paper in this book and it still looks silk to me uh, I assume the thinner paper is shinier and this one indeed has less shine as written on their website but it doesn't really compare to a real luster paper so you might want to label it as such. So given the purpose I think these books are really really great. Uh, finally the price, uh, the softcover book for 20 pages costs $15 and for the hardcover book for 20 pages is uh, $30 so you have to add an extra 15 so I think that's a very, very reasonable price. It's not expensive at all. These were my thoughts on simple prints. Uh, go on and try them out. If you want to see more up close images and a bit more detail, then go to my website, thephotobookguru.com. Uh, thank you for watching my videos, and as always, subscribe for more.